I decided that it was time to get all my slides, which date back to the 70s, and put them into digital format. So I purchased this device. It's called the Ion Slides Forever 35mm Slide and Negative Scanner with Rapid Slide Feeder. This is the box it came in. I bought it from Amazon. I think it was just under £40. Here's the device itself. Looks exactly as it does on the tin. It has a slot at the side down here where the slides are inserted. And they come out this side. A little button on the top which allows you to effectively take a snapshot of the slide. And then the connector at the back which leads into the USB socket on the computer. It's provided with a bit of software on a CD which loads very easily into my Windows 7 laptop. Once the software is installed it leaves a little icon on the screen there which I will now try and click with my left hand. Here we go. Double click and up comes this screen. I'm afraid I'm not very good at this, but I'll try my best. All you really need to know is that when you put a slide in, it comes into this grey area here. You can then press the snap button up there, which then puts a picture into this. And this is what your digital version looks like. Um, instead of pressing that button up there, you can in fact press the button here on the top of the machine, which is probably easy when you're doing quite a few slides. Um, there are options for uh, rotating the slide, but it's better to get the slide in the right way in the first place. And then there's a, a save button down here, where you can, just here, where you can save to your desired um, directory, which is just defaults to pictures at the bottom there. You can save each slide individually, or it will allow you to take fill each of these slots across the bottom and then do one save, but it won't allow you to do any more than actually appear on the bottom. There is um, a function for adjusting the colour and brightness, but I'm afraid my slides are all very old and I didn't bother with that. But um, generally, a uh, very easy piece of software to use. You do have to set it up at the beginning here to choose whether it's a negative, a slide or black and white. I'll just show you now a few slides being um, operated. Well this is how all my old slides were stored in these cassettes, uh, hundreds of the things, but it's surprising how quickly you get through them. So let me take a few first of all and show you how to do it. The ION provides three different feeders for the device. This one is for roll film only, which I didn't use. This, I'm not quite sure, it says on here slides only, um, and you can put the slides in individually and then push them through, but I'm not quite sure of the advantage. I guess you could um, use that for film, individual bits of film where you haven't got them in a frame. But the one that I used all the time was this, which is a small cassette which allows you to stack up to about 20 odd slides and then a lever to push them through individually and then take a photograph as each one goes through. It's all done manually but it is quite quick. There are a few problems when you are sliding each slide through. They get jammed occasionally and you have to take them out and unjam them and be careful you put them all back in the right way so that the they come out the right way up, but it's pretty reliable and I think um, I can thoroughly recommend it. Here the device fits in the side of the machine and simply pushes through and is ready now to accept the slides and take photos. So I've selected some slides and just put three in the tray for the moment. On the top of the slide holder there is a slider and this needs to be moved one way for cardboard slides and the other way for the plastic slides. Um, 
they're a bit thicker and so I just did a slight adjustment. Okay. Okay, so here we have the slides in the device. All I have to do is push this across and you will see that the picture has appeared on the screen. Unfortunately it's the negative, so if I change it to slide, there, I think you can see that it's come through reasonably well. Now if you want to adjust the brightness and everything you can, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to click the photo button over there and now you'll see the picture has appeared up in that box then all you have to do is click save and it will appear I won't actually click that because I've done all these and that's all it is it's as simple as that so if we go back to the, the um, device itself which I seem to have lost there it is um, come back here, yeah, you can see it now. What I have to do is move this back, make sure the, the slides have gone down, and press the next one through. It didn't work, there we are. Next one's gone through. The other slides come out at the end here, and on the picture, there it is. Just click snap again. Picture moves through to the area here. Press save and Bob's your uncle. Okay, well that's basically it. I've gone through six cassettes of um, slides, which has taken me two two hour sessions, so four or five hours altogether to do it. One very important tip: if your slides are like mine, they've been kept up in a dusty loft for something like 30, 40 years and they do have bits of dust on them. I didn't realise until I was well through the process that that dust gets deposited on the lens inside the device. Now they provide a brush which looks like this which has got um, sort of velvety stuff here so what you have to do is take the cartridge out like this and then use the brush to put in here and just clean the lens to make sure that all the dust comes off. I think you need to do that really after every couple of dozen, um, after every couple of dozen slides, or when you see the images starting to get dirty. Okay, I think that's it, folks. I hope you um, find this little video helpful, and good luck with transferring your slides.